Hi everyone, this is Daily from Daily Tech TV with another Q&A session for you. If you've got a new question, leave it in the comments below. I will try and answer it in a future video. In 2012, a little bit different for my Q&As, instead of doing a long 20 to 30 minute video, I'm doing shorter Q&A sessions and just answering one or two questions per video. This particular video is likely to be a long one. You will understand why when I read you the question out. And this is probably, in the last week or so, the most asked question. It comes from Mr. Almonte 1982 and others. Great video, Dave. Loved the new saying at the end. Thank you very much. Question, how long before we can see the iPad 3? Question two, will the screen be 16-9 ratio? Also, do you think we will see a new iMac design and what can we expect? Well, this video is mainly going to cover the iPad 3 question, so I'll very quickly answer the iMac question. I think we're going to see faster processors, maybe a slightly thinner casing. It might lose the optical drive, that's my prediction, and we will see SSD options across the board, <clears throat> maybe even only an SSD option in a particular model. That's my prediction on that. But now moving on to the iPad 3 question. Wow, this is gonna be an exciting year for tablets in general, but especially for Apple. The iPad 3 is gonna to have to be something extremely special from Apple. I'll tell you why, so, so much competition now. Kindle Fire, not really direct competition because it's such a low-end device. But things like the Asus Transformer Prime really do offer up decent amount of competition to the iPad 3. So Apple are gonna to have to do something extremely good. I think we're gonna see it around about March time. There are rumors of a March event where Apple will announce and launch the iPad 3. And I think we're gonna see um, quite a few changes. The first thing is I think it's gonna be very slightly thicker. I think it's gonna to have to be slightly thicker to accommodate the new front-facing HD FaceTime camera. They're definitely going to have to improve the cameras this time round. They always do this. They launch with a medium to good camera. Next iteration, they always improve the optics. So I think we're going to get a full HD 2 megapixel front facing camera and either a 5 megapixel or an 8 megapixel camera on the rear of the device to match up with the iPhone 4S. Next up, I think we are going to see an A6 processor, quad core. I think they're also going to up the internal amount of RAM in here as well. And I would hope, this is just a hope, please give us one gigabyte of RAM Apple. You've got such a big buying power with memory manufacturers that it's a negligible cost to increase that internal RAM to one gigabyte. I think we're still gonna see the same capacities, 16, 32 and 64 gigabyte of storage. We might see 128, but I'm very, very doubtful on that. And <clears throat> something that people are saying they've got to do is this Retina display. They have been talking about it for a long time. We've got Retina display in the iPhone 4S, so why not in the iPad 3? Super high res, that would make it stand shoulders and mountains above the competition, for want of a better expression. If they did a retina display, it really would take the world by storm. The last thing, and I don't know if this is gonna happen, but they do that 30 pin dot connector. I think Apple should take a brave move and introduce a micro USB alongside it. I think that would be a really good move and it would make it a lot easier for charging and for connecting other devices. That would be a really good move on Apple's part. And then my last thing, which is just a little tiny prediction or a wish that I hope they would do. When we were looking at iPad 2 predictions, a lot of people were saying maybe they get rid of the home button, maybe they're introduced sort of these multitasking gestures and do a different way of doing multitasking. I would really like that. I've got an iPad 2 here and I hate the home button. Double clicking it to get the sort of multitask bar up and, and things like that. 
just don't like it. I'm sorry, I, I really hate double clicking that home button. Apple can innovate there and come up with a really good way of doing away with the home button. So very exciting time ahead. If I've had three comes out, I'll be there. I'm gonna definitely get one in. Really looking forward to it and I just hope they deliver on all of those different aspects I've just talked about. What do you expect from the iPad 3? Are you hoping for retina display? Are the cameras important to you? Do you want to see other features? Leave your comments below. I'd be really interested to hear what you want out of the iPad 3. And also don't forget, if you've got a question for me to answer in a future video, leave that in the comments section below as well. If you like my videos, it really does help if you hit that like button, that's down below somewhere as well. Hit the subscribe button up there as well to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me. I love doing these Q&As for you guys and girls. Thanks very much for watching. Enjoy your technology and I will see you all in the next video.